Hello, howdy, folks. Welcome to this lizard's either his last stand or his second to last stand. Not sure which. But look at him. This is probably the only time I'll be able to get a good look at him. Holy crap. That is something. That is something. We've got some source warriors, source spears, and a bunch of guard. Uh, well, these cold one riders could be dangerous. They could be a little bit dangerous. We'll have to keep an eye out for them, but we're going to come at them from both sides, I believe. We'll, we'll have this... Well, let's, let's use the slaves to fight the cavalry, because the terror is just going to make them run, like, instantly. So... If, if they can at least stay on top of the cavalry a little bit, that'll help. Let's get... Let's get some more over here. Lots over here. Whoops. We're going to start the forest. This is an even higher hill. That's, that's going to be a tough fight for them. We're going to have the Globadiers come out of the trees. And we're going to just rock Krokar with them. Hopefully. That's the plan anyway. And our ogres are going to be in the back. We're going to try and catch these cold one riders with them. Even though I know it's a bad idea. But they'll probably survive long enough. All we want to do is kill Krokar. Well, these are well Saurus spears or cold one spear riders. Let's, let's do this over here. We're coming and wrapping. Make sure Krokar can't get away. And the slaves will handle the cold ones while we figure the rest of this stuff out. Okay, so here we go. Let's lock it. Because I want to just get everyone charged in the beginning. We'll unlock it and then micro after that. Where's our hero? Come on, get in there, buddy. What What happened? I don't know. Okay. These guys, those guys, let's do this. Everyone, charge. Whoa. What is... I'm not sure why that's freaking out. That's not working for us, is it? Let's get the slaves over there. Poison and Globadiers. Get out of the tree line. Let's come in here with the ogres. Or... Oh, boy. Come on. Catch catch those cold ones. Yeah. Clan rat spears on the cold ones. That's good. Let's dedicate two, two of them over there. Uh, okay, let's drop some rats here. We'll get some spears in this in the center there. Um, yeah, let's let's come in with the. Wow, I don't know what's going on there. Let's get the poison dudes. Oh, oh! I stopped paying attention there for a second. We got a little bit outmaneuvered. Let's redirect some spears into the fight. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's get our let's go over here with our helm of discord though. That's going to be helpful. Come on, Globadiers, get out of there. Get out of there. You guys throw things at Krokgar. Boy, he is big and scary. Let's get over onto those chameleon skinks with the ogres. Are we... Oh, how, where's our helm here? We're almost in range with the helmet. Almost in range. Drop it. Great. That's going to help out a lot, I think. We have him surrounded. All right, these guys are finally out. We're throwing things at Krokgar. Do it. We're doing good damage, but it's taking a while. Let's let's see if we can ice those cold ones first. We we want to kill them so that our Globadiers don't get continually interrupted by cavalry. What are these? The clan rat spears. They're not liking this fight at all. Come on, guys, stay in there. Stay in there. I know it's tough. I know it's tough. Come on over here, guys. We... What are these? Skinks? Yeah, we're going to just chase those skinks until the end of time. We're going to drop some rats on them, too. Yep, we've almost poisoned globed those guys to death. Great. Rats are on top of them. That's good. Let's drop this. Give everyone a nice, solid boost there. The cold ones are done. Let's turn around and start throwing things at Krokgar. Let's, let's get a little bit organized before we do it. Yep, the rat ogres can finish them off. Great, we're in rage. Throw your bombs. Let's pen them in. Let's pen them in a bit. Oh, boy, those attacks just made all the globes miss. Come on, hold them down, guys. I know it's hard. 
Mob him. Mob him good. There's another volley. Oh, yep. That do, if it hits, it does damage, but boy, he moves around a lot in battle. That's not good for us. Cold ones, yep, let's just chase them off the field. I don't want any... Oh, oh, that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. That was good damage. Let's get over here. Let's surround them. Let's break the morale. Those are our rent rats What's this? Cold ones? Let's get some spears over there for them. Let's get on top of them. Seal them in there. Seal him in there. Where's our hero? Another Discord, dude. Please. Another helmet Discord. Come on. Another volley. We need just a couple more volleys and Kotgar is done. Oh, throwing into the tree line is not working for us at all, but he is shattered and that's it. That is it. Right? What's going on here? There it is. Wow, Krotgar is mean. But but the three Poison Wind Globadiers really do the damage we need, Fauna. They really do the damage we need. Let's let's get back to the map. Even great class to me. Excellent. Not a lot of food, because it's not a lot of lizards. Plus, the meat's kind of tough. Might, might, might not make for the best ideal dinner. Almost straight to level seven. Nice, okay. We've got some money. Eh, let's just enslave him. Great, Krotgar runs off. Oh, nice. Nurgloss the Insane is moving up in the world. Let's get the Root Marcher. That'll be good. And we can't, we can't quite chase him down, can we? That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Let's go back to our territory here. Kind of lick our wounds a little bit. And we'll probably move on Nahuantil while Krokgar runs off. He's, he's probably done. That's, that's it for him for now. I wish we could follow up. That's, it's just not possible. Okay. Watek, you're... Oh, right. You're building up. I think it's time for that rubbish pile again. I really want that recruitment capacity. It comes in handy in the most dire of circumstances. Queek, you have moved. The elves are completely annihilated. Hey, before I forget, let's jump into the diplomacy and see if we can get some trade going. After we've been burning down some of these elven strongholds so. we the rat lords Whoa. wish to petition the black court speak rodent that was odd it had a rat picture there and then i clicked on it and i did not get a rat voice if you insist nice great we're our relations are going to improve super fast with Short that sight. but we're not quite at the oh, are either very Ooh. brave or very foolish. Let's get that trade agreement. Nice. Can we get some military access? Nope. God, boy, that voice just gets me every time. Strigo Senpai? You seek help the Von Kastrins. A bold action. Trade? Nope. How about you vampires of the coast might like it? Come on, guys. Not quite. Damn. Well, we got one more agreement. How much did it give us? 411. Wow. That's good. Building trade resources might actually be worth it. Except for, I mean, I'd like to get the medicinal plants, but it's just, it's not gonna happen. That's that. All right, let's, uh, oh, are we at the bottom of this turn? No, we're not. Let's go ahead and end the turn. Let's go. Okay, the last defenders are trying to... Where are they in this? I'm not, I'm not sure where they are in this. Oh, any foreign armies within their territory will suffer attrition. I don't care about that. Temple Avenue of Gold's under attack, but... Queek has something to say about that. Excellent, they're done. Can we get some money out of it? Nope, let's get some food. All the food. Boy, after all that time, finally, 
finally do we not have to worry about the nonsense that was going on in this region. Quick, let's keep moving. We're gonna move for the Serpent Coast, probably. It's this. Okay, so Krokgar went and hid in Nahuantl. What he also did was use the march stance to do so. Nahuantl has no walls, right? Yeah, no walls. But Forosaurus, Skinks, Pterodon, Riders. What? Long one, come on. Can we handle that yet? I think we can, and an attacking now is, is our best chance of taking Nahuantl. Their Krokgar is tired. So is Saurus. We're just going to have to make it work. I don't know. We might take some losses, and that's okay. But if we can erase Krokgar off the field and take this, we can move on Quexotl, and just this whole place will be ours if we win. So let's do it. Attack them! Kill them! Oh boy. I'm not sure if our junior if our junior commander can handle this one. But we're we're gonna try. Let's spend some food. Six uses. I think that should be enough. Let's take a seven for luck, and we have the food right now, so let's do it. Yeah, we have the food. We have decent units. Wow, well, even the slaves are starting to get ranked up a bit here. And the Globadiers are gonna do some damage here. So no Croxagores, that's good. The two units of, of cold ones are gonna be annoying, but yeah, we're just gonna have to make do. Let's get in here. Let's kill Krokgar once and for all. Oh, interesting. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. The Lizardmen have a very good advantage on us here because if we want to make flanks and stuff, we're going to have to go through a swamp, it, it looks like, if we can even get in there. So, not ideal. Let's get the slaves in the front. Let's just make a big line for now. We can always divvy it up and figure out what we're going to do with them later. Ogres, hard flank, Globadiers. Stay in the middle where it's decently safe. Miraglost, right there. Let's get all these guys together. We'll lock them for now, like this, like that. Let's start, let's see what we're looking at. Looks like they're coming at us. Let's, let's run. We gotta get, we gotta get to the choke point. A little bit off the choke point, actually, because we're gonna be the ones with the numbers to wrap around. Ogres like that, and Globadiers stay nice and close to the battle line because those pterodons are going to be super annoying. We're moving in on them. They're moving in on us. This is going to be a bloody one, I think. This is going to be bloody, which is the best. Which is the best. We don't have Trixie Bombs, so we want to be mindful of that. Skinks, skinks. Two heroes. Is that a, like a priest or just a old, old Scar veteran? Okay, cold ones. Chameleon skinks. Wow, they're just coming right at us, aren't they? Interesting. Let's let's move in on these pterodons a bit. Like this. I want to wait for them to get a little closer. See if we can get some throws at those pterodons. If they don't dodge us, that'll be good. It's almost time. Let's go. Let's go. Everyone go. You guys head in like this. You two like that. The ogres. Let's go for a long flank like this. Krokgar's there. Throw stuff right at Krokgar. That's the move. You guys. Why, why does no one... Uh, I don't even know. Let's fight these cold ones with two units. You guys get in there like that. Good. You guys wrap in like this. Good. You guys wrap in like that. Great. 
Where's our, yep, we're throwing stuff at Krokgar. He's gonna go down real fast. Let's get some rats in here. What are these skinks? Are they just running for it? They're just abandoning their own army. I like it. Get in there in the rear, guys. Get in there in the rear. This is gonna, this is in the bag. Krokgar is almost dead. How do you like it? How do you like it, buddy? Right off Grimlock and onto the ground. Murder. Straight up murdered. Throw stuff at those Pterodon Riders. You guys pile in. Why don't we, I don't know, wrap. Just wrap around. Throw things. Throw the stuff. More. Come on. Come on. I, I love these poisoned wind gloves. They're just fantastic. They are just fantastic. They're doing the damage we want. Come on, guys. Get in there. Everyone, get in there. Get in there. I have seen slaves fight better. I have seen slaves fight better. Those guys are out of here. Let's pile in. We have them completely surrounded. We have them completely surrounded. Ogres. Ogres, get over here. Get on top of all these skinks. That's going to be hilarious to watch. That's going to be hilarious to watch. Get in there. You guys get in there like that. You guys move straight in. Love it. I love it. Let's uh, let's get Trixie. We want to pin these. What is, oh, okay. I don't know. Just post up here, guys, and throw things. That'll be great. Get Trixie on those skinks. Yeah, we're chasing those guys down with some ogres. More ogres are engaging right here. Oh, these skinks are in deep trouble. Come on, guys. Run. Run. Get on them. Go, go, go. Who's not fighting? Come on, they're, they're right in front of you. They're right in front of your stupid rat faces. Get in there. We're, we're throwing things into the melee. It's a lot of fun. Getting a lot of that practice. Oh yeah. Good damage. Pretty good damage all around. Get in there, come on guys. Skinks over here are not having a good time. Let's get some rats, let's help them out. Come on guys, everyone in. Everyone in. Get them. Ogres are punching these things good. What's with these guys? How can these ogres are actually getting hurt by skinks? Come on. Punch them. Use your warp arm. There we go. That's it. That's it. Come on. That's it. We won. The battle is over. We're just waiting for them to shatter a bit. There we go, all the shattering is happening. We've taken the city, we've killed Krokgar. Ultimate victory is in the hand of the most insane rat. I love it. I love it. We are coming back in a way that uh, we just haven't had in this series yet. So it's happening guys. And, and I'm getting better at the game too. Giving those uh, like waypoint orders that, like that. Those are, are very useful, and I completely forgot they were in the game for a while, so. Apologies, we're getting better. Let's get out of here. Victory. We didn't even lose... Ooh, look at all that food. Lots of gold. Nerd Lost is moving up the ranks. And no losses, not even the slaves. That's excellent. Let's go ahead and take the city. Do we want to spend food on it? Nope, I don't think so. Let's just take it. Such good happenings. Let's take down that barracks. We don't need it. Let's upgrade the city. That's going to be good. And we're still not quite to life as cheap. Oh, wow. Rank 13. That's awesome. Do we want any of this stuff? Reload time. Oh, Blastmaster, I bet, for the Poisoned Wind Globideers is good. Or should we start going for... Upkeep Reduction? That's a good question. I think we're going to take two points to the Blastmaster so we at least get the Reload Time Reduction, and that's going to be good enough for, for a while while we work up the Blue Tree towards Renowned and Feared and Quartermaster. And then we'll be on our way to getting a third army, which is going to come in super handy in the, in the coming days. Okay, let's go ahead and sneak around over here. Looking good. Everything, things are just looking good. Past few episodes, ever since we burned down the Tor Elasaur. Look at that. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see coming for us. 
Okay, let's go ahead and close out this turn. Since things have calmed down a lot, we can start blasting through turns. So let's go into turn 108. Do not bore me, thing. I well, head spine for my trophy back thing. I guess this was bound to happen, wasn't it? Oh, wait. Car we haven't found Carrick Zorn. Isn't this them? I thought these guys were Carrick Zorn. It says undiscovered, but I'm pretty sure that's them. Things just got more complicated just when things were looking up. Strength rank is 14. Okay, so these guys have legitimate armies that we have to deal with. Okay, so let's go ahead and accept. Yeah, okay, so the dwarves go to war with us. Okay, well, that's just that. Some more confederating going on. Okay. I don't know where these guys are sailing for, but I'm somewhat confident we can hold them off. I mean, that's a lot of spearmen to deal with. And it's a 20 stack. I'm a little worried about it, but at the same time, we have to push the advantage that we have. So that's just, it's just going to have to be the case. Let's build up those docks. Let's grab some walls. Let's upgrade our bell. Let's get some wood. Yeah, we can trade with that. Now, Juanto will actually produce a little bit of money through trade. Let's... Not quite sure what's going on in there. Let's go let's go take a look. Alright, we've got some word answers, some dryads, some scouts, some treekin. Yeah, that's okay. Boy, the vampire corruption though is apparently a deal. How are we going to deal with that? I think Queek is going to have to deal with that. Now, Quixotl, if we move on Quixotl, this army is going to be in that city without a wall. And we've run into that problem before. Wood Elves could give us some trouble. War Dancers are no joke. They are no joke. They will scythe straight through most of our rats. The tree can are brutal. We're going to wait for Queek. So we're going to hold Nahuantl. While we build it up a little bit, and plus, if we leave, we're gonna get a rebellion, for sure. So we're gonna we're gonna hang out there for now. Uh, these Taurus Serpentar fellas are bad news. Hopefully, they just did I say Taurus Serpentar? I meant Tor Elastor. They're bad news, but hopefully, they attack Taurus Serpentar, and we're just gonna cream them. That's that's the idea there. If they attack, I don't know. We'll, we'll just move forward here. Let's go. Scamper Scurry. Yep, that's right. Let's, let's hit right on the edge here, because if we go in here, we'll take attrition. We're going to go move on Serpent Coast next turn. And then, gold, or we'll just move on Golden Tower, because I don't want these guys to get away. I just want to trap them in the city, and we'll crush them, and that'll be that. Let's go right on into turn 109. Oh, the Strigos Empire has been destroyed. By what? I don't know. Good news. A little bit of an upkeep reduction, but look at that ammunition. Look at that ammunition. Let's take a look here. Yep. It went up by like three points. That is excellent. Yeah. Boy, I really want to get a third poison wind globe deer in this army too. Well, we'll get that sooner or later. Let's take a look at our technology. Hmm. Always a tough choice over here. It's always a tough choice. Plague monks. We don't have any of those things, sadly. Maybe someday, but I think that's more, that would be probably more useful in the other Skaven campaign where you get a discount on them, I believe. Not quite sure. Let's go with ingenious plans and... I 
I really want to get ultimate experiments for that. Oh, look at that. Oh, jeez. All the, all the good stuff. It's going to take forever to get there, though. Let's go with this, and we'll check out Promoted on Merit or Requisition Protective Gear. That looks really nice. A little bit of armor for everyone. I like that. These guys moved in to the Serpent Coast. They are ready to fight and die. Yeah, and that's definitely gonna happen. We wanna be mindful of these dwarves. Let's do some quick research. I don't know why we go over here when we do that. <laughs> Strength rank is eight. So they're, they're gonna fight. And they're gonna fight hard. I you While we're here, you will fail. not quite. Why are we deteriorating? That sucks. What can he do? Dark elves, are you guys ready Malibu? to has driven this start trading a bit? From nope, consumed. not quite. Mark, I speak here. for the Druki. Oh, there we what go. What is it you desire? Naturally. Lots of money. Wow, we can pick up a defensive alliance with you. Why not? Wow. I don't know what's wrong with your head when you make friends with Skaven, but uh, maybe military access too? Naturally. Great. Maybe she'll even come over and help us. Wouldn't that be something? Okay. So, these dwarves are going to give us major trouble if we're moving on Temple of Skulls. Boy, things really, really, really got interesting. Okay. Oh, man. I hope they're not moving on Scrag Hole. Certainly not. We'll find out. We will find out. In fact, let's go with our, well, the public order here is just an issue. Yeah, we're not going to be able to leave here without a rebellion. And if a rebellion comes, we're just going to lose everything that we just invested in. So we can't do that. This episode is basically come to a close because we're about to attack the Serpent Coast in one epic battle. Then we'll take the Golden Tower probably. Then maybe before we hit the Temple of Skulls, we'll go and destroy Orion's camp or Orion. I don't, I, maybe, is that a typo? Might, might be a typo. We'll go and destroy that because the Wood Elves only have this one province. So that'll just take them right off the board if we do that, which is which very advantageous. So thanks. Thanks for watching. This has been just excellent. We're coming back. We're coming back stronger and better than before. And join me next time as we deliver some more damage to the lizards. Maybe even get tied in with the wood elves a bit. I can't wait to see some new enemies, honestly. Fighting some new enemies is going to be fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.